Hey, what's up guys? Mastering here, come back with a brand new video for you guys. You guys have been requesting it. More 100% profit trade-ups, zero risk. So I'm super excited to bring you guys a couple more of those today. But before we hop on into it, only a small percentage of you guys who watch the videos are actually subscribed. Discord's going to be one of the links in the description. Let's hop on into it. First up here, we're going to be heading on over to the Chroma case. Now this case is really good for trade-ups like these. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be getting six field-tested skins. And the float is kind of restrictive. You're going to have to get it 0.172 or below. Now this is really obtainable with a buy order. The nice thing is you can set a buy order for 12 cents and you can resell the skins because their current market price is around 14, 15 cents. So you're able to resell them without actually losing any of your value on the skins you can't use for this. But, so you're going to have those six field tested skins, and then you're also going to be looking for four minimal wear skins. Now, these minimal wear skins, I put a buy order of 20 cents, and you're going to be looking for a float of 0 0.09 or below. Now, coming down to our outcomes here, we've got some pretty nice outcomes all across the board. This one's really profitable as long as you get the floats right. That's the hardest thing about this one is getting the floats right. But coming down to our outcomes here, we're looking really good. We're going to be looking for that Desert Eagle Naga. That's going to be securing the most profit coming in at just over 35 cents. The MAC-10 is just going to be above a quarter, and the Dual Berettas and the Sawed Off Serenity are both going to be looking around 10 cents. But the nice thing about this one is there's kind of two ways you can go with it. First of all, you can go and try and get only three minimal wear skins and seven field tested skins. It's really hard, but your float's going to become a bit more restrictive, but you can squeeze out a nice eight cent more profit. Or you can go ahead and go a little easier route, add a cent on to every order price, and you can go ahead and still end up with a decent around a 6% profit on average. You're just going to not be having 100% of the profit all the time because the sawed off serenity, you'll end up losing a cent or two on it. But let's hop on into it. Hopping on into this one here. I'm pretty excited for this one because it's just nice all around. Not really too much to worry about for it. This one, I will be okay if we get the MAC-10. I do like the MAC-10. I, I already have it, but I think it's one of the best looking MAC-10s that is just under two, three bucks. It's extremely nice. I like the color pattern, but let's see it. Oh man, that's unfortunate. We're going to hit the Sawed Off Serenity, which is not terrible. You know, at the end of the day, it's still profit, but it's a little frustrating spending the time to collect these skins just to get that. But overall, not terrible, and we'll see you on the next one. Next up here, we're going to be coming on over to the Revolver case. Now, the Revolver case is super easy for some of the floats. First up, though, we have our six field-tested skins. Now, it's not super easy to get these floats coming in at 0.18 for the six field-tested skins, and I put a buy order of $0.09. Cents. This is going to be able to ensure that you don't lose any of your money. But coming on over to our four minimal wear skins, this is where you're going to have a cakewalk. You're just going to have to have a float of 0.1 or below. Super easy. I put a buy order for 16 cents and I was able to get them in a decent time period without any hassle. Overall, it was pretty easy. And the hardest thing about this one is just getting your six field tested skins. Coming down to our outcomes though, there's two outcomes that we're really looking for here. We got a one third chance of being in the money. Now we're really looking for this Negev power loader. It's going to be coming in at just over three quarters of profit, almost 80 cents. But we're looking at the Tiger Moth as well. That's about a quarter of profit. Otherwise, our remaining four skins, not going to be the greatest. We're looking at two cents on the 5.7 Retribution, two cents on the PP Bison Fuel Rod, and two cents on the XM1014. We're going to be looking at roughly three to four cents on the Tech 9 Avalanche, but overall, it's kind of a fail if we're not able to hit one of the two good outcomes, and it's just kind of a waste of our time for two cents. But let's hop on into it. All right, hopping on into this one. This one, I've got two of these lined up, so I'm excited to hop on into this. We just need that Negev. That's really all we need. If we hit the Negev here, we're going to be sitting in a good situation, so that's going to be pretty nice. Otherwise, I don't know. It's going to be a little bit disappointing, but we got two tries at this one, so I'm hoping we can hit the Negev at least once. But first time here, let's see it. Nice! We're going to hit the Negev. That's awesome. That's going to be a nice amount of profit. Best thing here. Let's see if we can go two for two. I'll meet you guys back in just a moment. All right, we are back with round two here, trying to see if we can hit another Negev power loader. It's going to be a really tough time, 
but if we are able to do it I will be uh, pretty happy and we might even go for a third round overpay for a couple skins go for a third round see if we can get another one if we're able to pull any of the two good outcomes here if we're able to pull a Negev or a Tiger Moth we might go for another round because we are on a hot streak right now and I don't know if I really want to give it up that is although if we hit one our one third chance but let's see it ah coming to an end you know it was a good time there we were able to hit the Negev but now we got our Tech 9 Avalanche and that's pretty much going to be breaking even not really worth the cost of admission but that is really all I have for today guys I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching if you're still sticking around here at the end of the video I just want to give a thank you to you for sticking around through these times but as always guys I just want to thank you guys so much for watching if you do these trade ups drop them down in the comments below tell me what you get but as always guys I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day